Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only going to be eating petrol station foods for the next 24 hours. So you're probably thinking petrol station foods, like that's a bit strange. Well, in America, they have a shop called 7-Eleven, which is kind of like a gas station or a petrol station. That's what they call it over here. And you can get so many amazing foods in this like shop called 7-Eleven that I'm literally obsessed with it. You can get slush puppies, you can get warm food, you can get cold food, you can literally get everything. And it's nothing like we have in the UK. I've seen one person do this video before, so I'm gonna leave theirs down below. But I really wanted to give it a go myself before I leave LA in a couple of days. This is gonna be the last food video for a while, but I really wanted to do it whilst I was here. This morning, I'm actually doing the Hollywood hike. I've already done it in my previous video, but we wanted to do it again. So I'm gonna head to 7-Eleven now. I'm gonna go and pick up some of the snacks that I need, and then we can go. Luckily, we actually have a 7-Eleven literally 30 seconds away from where we're staying. So this is what it looks like on the outside, and now we're gonna go in and get some snacks for the morning. First thing I wanna get is these mini Starburst, because I had these yesterday, and they're so good plus we can't get those in the uk these over here are only 69 cents and this is a juicy drop pop i have these back in the uk i always buy them in tesco i literally love them but this one is blue raspberry watermelon which i've never tried before they have also got the biggest drink section ever like we do not have this type of drink section back home so i think i'm just going to get a bottle of water to take up the mountain with me do i get fiji water while i'm in la no i'm just gonna get this one this one's better value for money <laughs> this is my favorite thing about 7-eleven they actually do slurpees so first of all they've got like a big gulp machine which you can get like pepsi from and stuff but they have the blue raspberry slurpees, which taste exactly well to, to me. So it's exactly like a Tango Ice Blast. I am gonna go for the blue raspberry one. Oh, the handle doesn't wanna work. There we go. Oh my God, how is this only a dollar as well? Like it's absolutely ridiculous. If you get a Tango Ice Blast back home, they're literally like five or six pounds. This is literally why I love LA. This is what my basket looks like so far, but I have also just seen they do a egg sandwich and I've been craving one of these the whole time we're here, but I've been to Walgreens, I've been to Target and they don't do like a Tesco meal deal section. But finally, 7-Eleven do so I'm going to take this up at the top of the mountain with me. They also do nachos and they also do taquitos in there as well which Trisha Paytas always goes on about so I'm going to get one of those and try it for you guys. I've been having them all holiday and they're literally incredible. I needed a comfort boom. They also have a massive section of all of these type of crisps and we've got a mini cheese dip to have with them as well. Hattie's just demonstrating that for you. They also have a section where you can get like fresh coffee, fresh tea and everything. And they also have a donut cabinet. These donuts are so good. Look at that pink one. This is what my basket is looking like for our hike up to the Hollywood sign today. I'm so excited. I'm most excited about the blue Slurpee and then I'm also gonna get a steak and cheese taquito as well. I'm now back, so I obviously showed you in the shop that I already got this. This was a medium size and it cost me a dollar. And like I was saying in 7-Eleven, if I went to the cinema and got this, it would literally be like six pounds. I've also put the straw in the wrong way and I can't get it out and it's really annoying. But it is so, so good. Plus, if I keep it in the fridge, it doesn't melt. And then I also got a steak and cheese taquito. And basically, I always see Trisha Papers eat these and Freya was telling me about them. So I've literally had one once every couple of days and they're so addictive. They're like $1.50. I'm gonna do a taste test for you because honestly, if you ever come to America, you need to try one of these. I'm real. This is also gonna tide me over as well for a couple of hours while to do the Hollywood hike because that hike is hard. For someone who doesn't do exercise, it's really hard. And then when I get back and I've eaten all the food, we're gonna take another trip to 7-Eleven. I rate this fully like an 11 out of 10. This and the Slurpee, if I lived in America, I would be getting every day. Like petition for 7-Eleven to come to the UK, please. My bag is all packed. I've got my sandwich shoved in there. I've got my Starburst and I've also got my Juicy Drop Pop. And now we're off on a hike. We have made it to the top of the Griffiths Observatory. I'm absolutely knackered, and now I'm gonna sit and eat my sandwich. My sandwich, um, it did get a little bit warm on the hike. However, I'm a queen and it was delicious. Exactly what I said. I wouldn't say it's as good as a Tesco meal deal because they're like my ultimate favorite sandwiches and they're only a pound and I did pay four pound to this, but it's what I needed after a three and a half mile hike. We are now back from the hike. I am so ridiculously tired and I really wish that I bought some food from 7-Eleven this morning to like stack in the fridge. All I have right now is this Juicy Drop Pop, which is so good and so much cheaper than it is in the UK, but I feel like I need proper food as it actually is half past five, which is like dinner time. So everybody else is out right now. They're actually on Melrose. I'm gonna take a walk up to 7-Eleven and I'm gonna go and buy myself some dinner. 
and for the second time today i am back at 7-eleven i haven't had coke in a few days so that is the first thing i'm gonna get there's so many different drinks here but i just like to play it safe these are also unbelievable i bought one of these the other day i think i'm gonna get that for a snack later these are the breakfast options for the morning i don't know whether to kind of buy the cereal now to save me coming in the morning and i could also buy some pop tarts okay yeah i'm gonna buy it now these are also such a classic american food so i'm gonna pick up a pack of twinkies for a snack later as well second trip was very successful i got the coolest food for dinner which i'm so excited to show you i am home and i'm gonna do you a haul of what i got so for my dinner tonight i'm so excited because i didn't actually realize they did this many for this price so you get this box and like i said they have like a hot range in there so i actually got 10 mini tacos for two dollars whilst i've been here i've literally been obsessed with taco bell to the point that like i literally want to order it every night so i thought i'm just gonna give these ones a go they're boiling hot still so i'm gonna have those in a minute and then it was two slices of pizza for two dollars so i got two slices as well of this pepperoni pizza so overall dinner tonight has cost me four dollars and it would be so much more expensive if i went out because i've been spending like 20 25 dollars per meal like it's not cheap out here so i'm really excited to try both for my dinner and then i also got a bottle of coke because i'm having really bad withdrawals from coke and then i also just got a few snacks for later and i bought tomorrow morning's breakfast first of all i just need to have some of this coke because oh my god My eyes are watering because it was so cold and I drank that so fast. I think I'm going to try the tacos first because these are what I'm most excited for. Like when I said can I just get some tacos, I didn't think I was going to get 10. They're so good. They don't have like tomatoes in or cheese or anything. They're literally just like, I think it's beef in them. But they're so nice. For the price as well, you really cannot complain. Like that's 20 cents each to what, like 15p per taco? I think these like an 8 out of 10, like they're really good. Now it's time to taste the pizza. A few of my friends have already had this and said it's really good, so I have high hopes. That is good pizza. That literally tastes like a Domino's. This is what I mean, like it'd be so bad if I lived in America because I would just walk down to 7-Eleven just to go and pick up a slice of pizza randomly. Like I'd literally eat this for breakfast, it's that good. Again, I'd rate that pizza a solid like eight out of 10. So this is my dinner for tonight and I am now gonna sit and eat this with my bottle of Coke and then I guess we're just gonna have to have the snacks that I bought. It is 17 minutes to 10 and I wasn't planning on going to 7-Eleven. I nearly said in and out. I wasn't planning on going to 7-Eleven again tonight, but uh, Freya actually wants to go. So we're taking another trip. We're back. <laughs> Freya is now getting a 79 cents big gulp. Look at that! For 80 cents! <laughs> <laughs> 79 cents for this. This is what we need in the UK. Wow. Oh, don't know which one you want to go for. Lovely value for money. There you go. Let the fist go down. Let the fist go down. Look at that. Look at that. And then. And then one more big go. One more big goal. Big go for a big goal. Beautiful. It's got to the point of the trip where I actually need some healthy food so I think I'm either going to get some watermelon or well there's not really much else to choose from so I think I'm either going to get watermelon or melon because I actually cannot stomach much more chocolate anymore. We are now back from 7-Eleven and I've got my Milky Way fudge from earlier and I've got my Big Gulp. I'm so sad that I'm literally having these on one of the last days of the trip because I didn't realise that you could actually get this for 80 cents when earlier I bought a bottle of Coke and it cost me like 2 29 I think or 2 99 when I literally could have got more Coke but Anyway, I'm now gonna have some of this because this is the best thing. It's a Milky Way fudge. And the only place I've actually found these this whole two weeks is in 7-Eleven. So I don't know if it's like an exclusive, but I couldn't find them in Target. I couldn't find them in Ralph's. I think we went to Trader Joe's as well. I couldn't find them in there, so. It's so good. Like, I don't even know where the fudge is in the Milky Way, but it's amazing. I'm now gonna head to bed. Well, I'm gonna finish this first and then head to bed. And then when we wake up in the morning, I can have my breakfast. Good morning everyone. I am about to have my breakfast. So I already bought my breakfast from 7-Eleven yesterday and I got this little pot of cinnamon toast crunch cereal and then I also got myself two pop tarts. I don't think you're really going to be able to see me because it's super sunny today but it is our last full day in LA so I've got my breakfast, I'm going to sit outside and I'm going to enjoy it. I really do not want to leave. I've enjoyed this trip so, so, so much and I've tried so many amazing foods. I know that my channel is literally turning into a food channel and I'm sorry but I just love food. I'm going to sit and eat my cereal and then I'm going to have one more trip up to 7-Eleven before I leave because I really want to get another slushy and I really want to go and get a steak and cheese taquito.
and for the fourth and final time I'm back at 7-eleven I'm literally going straight to the big gold machine I'm actually gonna get a coat because it's just too good value for money perfect I have got my drink and I'm just gonna get a chiquito and then I'm pretty much finished with the challenge and I'm out of 7-eleven and I got my final chiquito I'm not gonna have any more this trip because I literally leave in like 12 13 hours but I just wanted one more before I go so beautiful I can understand why Trisha Paytas is literally obsessed with these and gets them all the time because if I lived in America I'd be having these daily I really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up I really hope you guys have enjoyed all of the American videos that I've filmed obviously if I come back which hopefully I will very soon I can film some more for you but other than that I really hope you guys enjoyed I will see you very very soon for a brand new video Mwah. Bye. But now I'm going to take this inside and I'm going to go and enjoy this and I'm going to go and enjoy my coke before I head off to the airport.